In August 10th, 2022, a player made a crazy discovery from the official Hive Parkour Mailbot HQ. This entire parkour can be completed in around 40 seconds and is made up of some jumps, a bigger jump, and skipping some stuff. Over the last few months, players seem to have found shortcuts for the parkour. Some obvious, some not so obvious. There weren't many, but there was one going unnoticed for months. Looking at the incredible speedruns people have made over the last few months, it's crazy how no one figured out this one shortcut that was hidden in plain sight. During this video, why not try and find the shortcut yourself? It might be harder than you think. Also, please subscribe, thank you. On the 3rd of June, 2022, Hive's Arcade was released. After many months of waiting for an update, this brought some more game modes to Hive, some mini games, and some parkour. And this is where it began. At first, people didn't really notice the parkour as there were other activities to do on Hive. However, shortly after the update was released, on June 6th, 2022, a player who goes by It's Dragon submitted their very first speedrun, which was a very fast run at the time. This player seemed to start off right in the middle of the starting platform and follow the parkour's route perfectly up until this moment, where he doesn't wait for the moving platform and decides to run underneath the checkpoint's platform, where he can somehow catch the checkpoint and then teleport using the last checkpoint item. He finishes the parkour with a time of 39.617. Almost a week had passed of people trying to complete this parkour using Dragon's route. However, no one could complete it faster than him. Multiple submissions, but no successes of taking first place. On June 11th, a popular speedrunner known by CrazyMan1234 submitted this run. He starts off the parkour at the edge of the spawn area, so he's able to gather more momentum upon starting. He cut inside the corner here. He figured out you can skip one of the jumps here. And another huge discovery for this course, he skipped the entire inside route and jumped onto the side of the building using a head hitter to gather momentum. And he gets the checkpoint much faster, causing him to finish the course with a time of 36.979. This run was an insane 2.638 seconds faster than the previous record holder. This set the courses for Mailbot HQ speedruns, the official route and guideline that everyone was somehow trying to complete. Sir Untouchable uploaded a speedrun on the 16th, a mere 5 days after the last record was verified. Nothing had changed from the last route, however it was faster and just more polished. At this point, me and a few other speedrunners were thinking that there's no other way they can change the game and they were estimating the fastest possible time to be around 36.7. Speedrun after speedrun, the same things happened. No changes at all, although they somehow crept faster and faster. New competitors arriving, speedrunning. The only thing that changed was people started to hug and stick to the edges and corners of blocks to maximize their speed and so that there's less distance traveled. Every millisecond counts. Have you guys been able to spot the shortcut yet? On June 24th, a known player and Hive YouTuber known as Danda Plays, yes, that's me, submitted a run which he thought would change the speedrun scene completely. He finished the parkour in 36.531, completely blowing away the estimated time of 36.7. This would be the new speedrun record, until a few days later, when the submission got denied. As you can see in this clip, he uses his friend to break the platform, so he's able to skip the jump. One of the moderators said this, Yo, sick run, however, I'm not sure if this counts as a solo run, so this unfortunately might get denied. This demotivated the player, but this did not stop him from attempting the speedrun record. He kept on attempting the speedrun record over and over again until he finally beat this previously denied record without even using the shortcut. He completed it with a time of 36.563, taking the record spot at number one. 
This shortcut that he had discovered in his previous denied attempt was a false alarm, although he hadn't given up hope on it. He spent the next few weeks attempting to perfect the shortcut, and somehow he did it. On July 17th, weeks after the previous run, he completed the speedrun using the shortcut in 36.31. Yes, this person is still me. Now I thought, and many others thought, that this would be the number one record for a while. With multiple people still trying, they thought it was unbeatable. Until some people noticed in his speedrun, he somehow got a 36.260, which wasn't submitted. Did he forget to record? Was it not legitimate? Turns out, it was the same method he used in his denied run. It was just a lot faster, and they were testing to see how fast it could possibly go. However, this 36.310 is still incredibly good, taking the number one spot. Literally another week had passed, and a known speedrunner, Co-op Bro G, attempted the parkour and absolutely destroyed the previous run at 36.252, giving him first place until six days later when he got beaten by 0.006 seconds. Nothing had changed, it was just a more polished run, and he barely beat him. Now at this point, Danda had forgotten about the speedrun, and he had moved on, until he realized that his unofficial speedrun record of 0.26 had been overtaken. He wasn't happy, he speedrun for days over and over again, and on August 10th, he did it. Thirty six point one five seven, the shortcut method that he and everyone else thought was a false alarm, it wasn't. He took that record with a point zero eight nine difference. Is this the fastest run possible on this course? Comment below your thoughts. Thank you for watching. If you guessed the shortcut, congrats, you won nothing.